Used Peugeot 2008 Review A full used buyer's guide on the Peugeot 2008 covering the 2008 MK1, 2013 date. Verdict Peugeot has enjoyed great success in our driver power satisfaction surveys with the 2008, and this is backed up by the owner reviews on our sister website carbuyer.co.uk, so there's clearly plenty to love about the crossover. The 2008 is usable and good value, but it's not a big car, so don't assume it can do the job of a larger alternative. There's also no four-wheel drive, although some models have grip control, which mixes electronics with special tires to give traction in slippery conditions. The key is to buy the right engine and transmission for your needs this can make or break the ownership experience. When Nissan created the compact crossover with its Juke in 2010, few people would have guessed just how popular the format would become. Although the brand stole a march, rivals soon realized there was huge demand for small subs and within just a few years a raft of new cars was on sale. Among them was the Peugeot 2008, based on the same platform as the 208 Super Mini. As was the case with most of the cars in this new market, the 2008 proved a smash hit thanks to keen pricing, great engines, a spacious cabin and lots of equipment. But three years on, how well has it stood the test of time? And what's it like as a used buy? Models covered Peugeot 2008, 2013 date, spacious, well-equipped crossover is a tempting buy used, especially at these prices. History the 2008 debuted in July 2013. There were four engines, 1.2 VTI or 1.6 VTI petrols, and 1.4 HD or 1.6 HD diesels. The 1.6 HD came in 9.2 bhp or 1.15 bhp forms, the latter is the only engine offered with an auto box. In March 2014 the 1.2 VTI engine was rebadged PureTech and offered in 110bhp or 130bhp turbocharged forms, while the EHD diesel was rebranded Blue EHD. September 2015's Urban Cross was an allure with smarter trim details and 17-inch wheels in place of the usual 16-inch rims. A facelift in July 2016 led to the 2008 being repositioned as an SUV. It brought overhauled engines, a significant exterior redesign and extra tech, there are already plenty of pre-registered examples available. Which one should I buy? Entry-level petrol and diesel engines are hard work on long journeys, so if you're a high-mileage driver we'd opt for one of the 1.6-liter units, although the 110bhp or 130bhp 1.2-liter models cope pretty well. Base Access Plus 2008s get remote central locking, electric front windows, electrically adjusted and heated door mirrors and aircon, including a refrigerated glove box. The active adds 16-inch alloys, touchscreen multimedia, Bluetooth and a DAB radio. Buy an Allure and you also get rear parking sensors, privacy glass, automatic lights and wipers, an auto-dimming rear view mirror and power folding door mirrors. Dual zone climate control and a height adjustable passenger seat feature as well. The top spec feline comes with 17 inch alloys, navigation plus a panoramic roof with an electric blind. Alternatives to the Peugeot 2008 The small SUV market has mushroomed in recent years, so you're spoiled for choice. The Nissan Juke was the pioneer in this class, it still looks distinctive and there are lots about, although it's now getting dated. Launched around the same time as the 2008 is the Capture, which has been a big success for Renault with its sharp looks, smart cabin, and great value for money. The Vauxhall Mocha and Ford EcoSport are both underwhelming but reasonably priced on the second-hand market, there are also lots of them to choose from. If your budget is flexible you could take a closer look at the Mini Countryman and Skoda Yeti, the latter is especially easy to recommend as it's a brilliant all-rounder. What to look for? Bluetooth. The Bluetooth music streaming function can be fraught with issues. Owners have reported that it doesn't connect and has refused to access playlists. 
Bulb Upgrades Various bulbs on the 2008 can be upgraded to LEDs. For instructions on how to carry out this switch, there's a really handy guide at tinyurl.com slash h8ytrn2. Bumper Scuffs The color-coded rear bumper is easily bashed by owners loading and unloading the boot, so be sure to check for paint damage on potential buys. Tire Wear Uneven tire wear can be an issue on the 2008. Some owners have found that rigorously maintaining exactly the right pressure is critical to prevent this. Interior Inside, the 2008 is a class act with lots of kit and high quality materials. Plus, once you get used to it, the small steering wheel set below the instruments works well. There's plenty of head and leg room for 4, but 5 is tight. Boot space is only average, though, at 350 liters. Running costs. All 2008s need to be serviced annually or every 20,000 miles for petrol engine cars and 12,500 miles for diesels. The first two checks are priced at 160 pounds and 170 pounds for diesels, both are set at 150 pounds for petrol models. From 3 years on services alternate between minor and major at 115 pounds or 195 pounds for petrol cars, 140 pounds and 250 pounds for diesels. Dealers offer OE or pattern parts to cut costs. All diesels have a cam belt, this needs replacing at 10 years or 112,500 miles at 345 pounds or 295 pounds if the car is over 3 years old. Fresh brake fluid is required every 2 years, 49 pounds, and fresh coolant after 4 years or 80,000 miles, then every 12 months or 20,000 miles, 70 pounds. Recalls. Despite its youth the 2008 has been recalled five times, all in 2014. The first came in February, because of fuel leaks in some cars built in January. Two recalls followed in April over a possible loss of control, one concerned potential steering problems, the other suspension faults. A similar problem brought a fourth recall, in July. This time it was because of potential subframe damage during the manufacturing process. The most recent recall came in December 2014, the handbrake mechanism wasn't set up correctly in some examples in the factory. Driver Power Owner Satisfaction The 2008 came a brilliant 11th on its debut in our Driver Power Satisfaction Survey, in 2014, last year it dropped to 33rd and this year to 48th. Strong suits in 2016 were running costs, 25th, ride quality, 26th, and reliability, 34th, not so good were performance, 98th, and in-car tech, 92nd.